Julia Lovell's Maoism is a revelation and I think will be for every reader. Um, I suspect there's nobody beyond Lovell herself um, who has wrestled with as many theaters of Maoist thought uh, and, and in the way, in the fresh way that she does with Maoist thought itself. I think every juror in the room, including uh, our China specialist, had an experience of discovery in the book that was just enormously compelling. Very often books that uh, set out to uh, undertake global uh, history writing end up uh, focusing on certain non-European places, but this book really uh, takes us around the globe. It is both a history of ideas uh, that is deeply grounded. Uh, there are actors, very well-developed characters, and uh, this is a major uh, contribution to uh, various literatures, to the historiography on uh, the Cold War, uh, the literature that exists on decolonization, and uh, also to the history of Marxism in its uh, various uh, formations. Maoism is such an important subject today as we watch China assume a larger and larger global ro role. And understanding exactly where today's China comes from is really crucial. She explores quite thoroughly the origins of Maoism in China, but then shows the very different ways in which Maoism has influenced societies as different as Peru or Indonesia or Europe or even the United States, and is very attentive to all of those contexts, but shows the ways in which there are certain fundamental ideas to Maoism that have played out often in very violent ways in all of these societies. Something in Mao's thinking, this Chinese thinker who advocated permanent um, overturning of social norms, revolutionary change, and of course, immense violence with which he's always been associated. All of these show that Maoism was not just for the Chinese, but actually helped to change the world. Although his body remains in that mausoleum in Tiananmen Square, his thinking, ideas about him, and many of his aphorisms are being brought out these days, of course, in digital form with people getting them on their mobile phones and having to learn them. Understanding the origins of that Maoist thought and why it's influencing the very different technologically enabled, economically outward-looking China of today is one of the most important paradoxes that the rest of the world has to get to grips with. And Julia Lovell's book does a fantastic job in helping us to understand that convergence in historical context.